In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use GPTs to help assist you in responding to fan DMs. Let's get into it. Now, in most of my other tutorials, I actually write the prompts myself, but for the sake of this one, we're going to use one of the prompt templates instead. So first, when you go into GPTs, you're going to be brought inside the dashboard into our chat interface. What you're going to see on the screen are some suggested prompts to get started, this icon for our prompt library where you can choose one of our pre-created prompts and then edit it and use it to your liking. You're going to see your chat history over here on the left. You're going to see the option to create a new chat. You're going to see the chat box at the bottom where you can create and write your own prompts. You're going to see the personalized GPTs button where you can personalize GPTs to be a better extension of you as a creator. And then on the bottom left, you're going to see your profile where you can edit your billing, review things, etc. Now, I mentioned earlier in the tutorial that we're going to use one of the pre-made templates for this use case. So let's go to the prompt library to get started. Here, we're going to scroll until we get to the reply to DM slash sexting prompt, and we're going to select it. Now, if you look in the prompt text box, you're going to see this pre-filled prompt be created. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit it specifically for our use case. So help me with the sexting session scenario with a fan. I will send the fans message and I want you to create my reply. Only use the nouns babe, baby, daddy. Use the same scenario for all follow-up messages. Sexing scenario, insert scenario theme, girl next door, sub sister, et cetera, et cetera. And then if you scroll, it continues. The last message from the fan, you'll insert the last message and then the desired outcome. Insert the desired outcome of the response. Keep the conversation going. Lead to a paid sexting session. Get them to request a specific type of content. Whatever it is, GPTs is going to help you get it done. So let's start editing this prompt for my specific use case. The first thing I want to edit in the prompt is where it says only use the noun babe, baby, or daddy. I never use the word daddy or that kind of language, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to add hun and baby. Now I'm going to scroll down. The sexing scenario. So we're going to insert the scenario theme, which is going to be, you know, any kind of scenario that you want to carry out with the fans. So I'm going to insert meeting a stranger at a bar. Now the last message from the fan, we're going to insert between these next brackets. So I'm going to insert the message that my fan last sent me. Let's say that my fan sent me the message, I would buy you a drink and see what happens next. Now we can insert the desired outcome of the response. So either to keep the conversation going, lead to a paid sexing session, get them to ask for a specific type of content. So what I want them to do is go into a paid sexing session. Now what's gonna happen is GPTs is gonna give you two responses. Response on the left is response one and on the right is response two. The response one on the left is going to be a very instructional response. It's going to be GPTs trying to give you exactly what you're looking for. Response two on the right is going to be a little bit more creative. It's going to think outside the box a little bit. And you're going to have to select one of these two responses to continue. You won't be able to prompt GPTs again unless you've selected a response. So let's review both responses and let's see which one we prefer. Okay, I've reviewed the responses. I personally prefer this one on the left because it leads them immediately to an opportunity for me to upsell them some content. So I'm gonna select the left response. Once you've selected a response, you're gonna see it fill the screen on GPTs and you'll be left with the response you selected and the original prompt that you sent. Now at the bottom, you're gonna see these three icons. This is the icon to copy it. This way you can paste it in your fan DM to respond to their message. Then you're gonna see this share icon where you can share either the entire chat, this prompt and the response or the response only with let's say maybe a creator friend that you want to show what outcome you got. You would just copy the link and then you could share it with whomever you wish. Now this last icon here with the arrows is going to be a way where you can navigate back to the response that you didn't select. That's really useful when there's bits and pieces of that second response that maybe you wanted to pull from and then incorporate with the response you actually ended up choosing. Now, once you've got your response, you are ready to copy it and respond directly to your fan DM. So I hope this is really useful. I love using GPTs for this purpose because it helps you really get creative and 
use the tool as an extension of you as a creator, but it's still you. It's still your essence. It's still your core. It just helps you stay inspired and stay creative along the way and in the process. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you use this use case and test it, see if it makes you more money, gets you more unlocks. And I know that GPTs can help you navigate all of those conversations that maybe you haven't quite replied to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.